Uh, and I started in grade 9 with my final art project. I wanted to come up with something original to do. My dad's a welder and he owns Ram Industries. So I had all the equipment I needed out in the shop to be able to make metal art. And I had seen my dad's friend doing some around the shop. So naturally I went out to him and he helped me out and I made my first piece and I got 100% on it. So that's what kind of inspired me was seeing some from my dad. I knew that it was possible to make that artwork. I kind of was just doing it for fun and then a few people were like, oh, I really like that. Do you think you could make me something? I started taking custom orders and I also made just things up and started going to craft shows. So like my passion kind of turned into a business mm -hmm. just naturally. <laughs> I went to apply at an established art gallery. And I was denied because I was an unestablished artist and I was too young. So I really was disappointed because I knew my artwork was good enough to be in it, but the reasons that they gave me for not accepting it into their gallery didn't really make sense to me. I was really upset because that was kind of something that I was really looking forward to. I had applied there, I'd wrote up a whole bio about myself, how I was like from the high school and I was a new like upcoming artist. I really wanted to get my name out there and being turned down was really disappointing but I'm so glad it happened now. <laughs> so if I could go back and thank them I would because if they hadn't have, would I have thought of my idea to help other artists? I don't think so because I would have just been thinking the narrow-minded course, get my own work out there and it wouldn't have showed me how much of a need there was in the community for something like this. So. I'm thankful for that it happened, <laughs> even though it was terrible at the time, I'm thankful that it happened now. You just gotta think, you know, one person's opinion doesn't mean your art is bad. Just because they thought it wasn't what they wanted or my age was such a factor, I don't think that one person telling me no should mean I'll stop. So I wanted to create a real starting point for aspiring artists. And that's how it all kind of came together, thinking of myself, but then thinking of others as well, because combining others' artwork with my own would allow for a variety of art mediums in the gallery, and it would draw more people in than just metal, because people may be interested in, in paintings, and they want to come in and see paintings, and now they can. So then I started thinking of how many other young artists felt like I did, like they can't get into a gallery because they're unestablished, and how do you become established if you are unestablished to be able to get into a gallery? Right now I have about eight artists for sure lined up with different varieties, like I got a painter, I have someone who enjoys like clay sculpture, I have a, like someone who's really good at pottery and they're all around my age, but their artwork is still amazing. I really feel that if someone likes a piece, they'll buy it, they don't, they're not going to really care what age they are. I'm sure there's tons of people who want to support aspiring artists. And if they don't make it, you still got a beautiful piece of art because you wouldn't have bought it if you didn't love it. <laughs> I think that was January. I'm very heavily involved in, with the school, with the different business programs and opportunities they offer with summer company coming up, hopefully getting a grant from the government to help start off my business. And I was just recently in a pitch competition where I pitched my idea and I won some money from that mm -hmm. towards it through them. So it had started off as my own artwork because I was, I'm going into business school next year. So it was just kind of worked out that I wanted to sell my own artwork, but after trying to promote my own artwork and that happened it just like got a whole another aspect to my business plan and my business idea that was I'm so glad I did because that part is actually I feel more important to me than my own art sometimes because I really have become an advocate for young artists and a lot of people in my school right now are hoping and looking up to me to make this space happen and I believe it will start a movement even though it may sound like a crazy idea right now but I believe like this will start a movement I'd love to start an association of just young artists because there is no art gallery like this in existence there is no art gallery for the aspiring artists for the new artists because a lot of art galleries are a business and well this will be a business but they're they just want the money and I feel a lot of people lose passion because they just chase money when they should be chasing their passion and letting money come with it. If it's successful for my first summer I would love to keep helping kids have a chance because I feel like, like a lot of people don't reach their potential in art because they're told they can't from a young age and you're never going to be happy just chasing money. I think you really need to start chasing your passion and a lot more people need to realize that. I believe like it will be a great networking opportunity to incorporate those other artists as well because when 
little Sally tells her mom, hey, I'm in an art gallery, her mom just might think a little differently and maybe understand a path that she wants to take with art. I think it'll really inspire a lot of families to maybe think a little differently about art because if it's your passion, I think you should go for it. <laughs> the gallery will be awesome if it does generate income because I'm trying to save up for school next year, but a lot of people forget about what really is meaningful to them and I find helping other people and being able to help someone sell their artwork who's my age would be probably more meaningful than any cash I could get, I guess. I'd really love to be able to be given the chance to help other young artists because I am a young artist and I do understand the struggles that we are going through right now trying to become artists. And there's going to be some hard times for sure where you're going to think, uh, can you do this? Are you old enough to even be thinking about this? Why would people believe in you? But you just really have to pursue because if you don't, it's not going to happen and you're the one who has to make it happen. I found that a lot. You have a lot of support, but at the end of the day, it's not going to get done without hard work and you got to make the time to make it happen <laughs> for sure. I, you might want to go hang out with friends, but there's things you've got to do first and you just got to make sure you're using your time wisely, a lot of time management and the best advice yeah. I'd give is just don't give up. <laughs> to get something that you want, you're going to have to put in the effort for it. So this is just one of those things, you got to put in the effort to see results, just like sports, just like my art. And it goes with everything in life. If you want something, it's not just going to come, come to you, you got to work for it. <laughs>